Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. It's a joy to come and share with you again these moments of devotion. In Acts chapter 27, Paul is on board of a ship headed for Rome. But he and those sailing with him finds themselves in the midst of a storm that seem like will not pass over. All hope has been lost by the people on board that ship that they would survive. But in the midst of it, Paul stands up and says, Be of good cheer. There stood by my bed this night an angel of the Lord, whom I am and whom I serve. And the Lord has assured me that we will arrive safely, that we will see our way through this storm. God reminds us in this story that Christianity is at its best when the world is at its worst. Everybody on board that ship had lost hope but Paul because Paul's faith was not in the ship. His faith was in the Savior. The world needs to see the church as a witness in the wind. It's one thing to be a witness when the sun is shining. It's another matter to be a witness for the Lord when the winds of life are against you. The world needs to see in the church a people who can demonstrate a constructive way of dealing with life's misfortunes and storms. A people who will not quit, who won't fall apart, who won't throw in the towel, who won't break down in the midst of a storm. Our faith is put on display, not in the sunshine, but in the storm. This text says that the church has an opportunity to witness to the world, not through sermons, but through storms. Church has an opportunity to be a witness for the Lord in the midst of this present crisis, in the midst of this pandemic, economic downturn, racial injustice and all of the trouble and tragedy that is around us, God intends that we be a witness for Him even in the midst of this. We can be a witness through lives that can function with faith when the winds are against us. When a crisis hits, the world falls apart world always comes running to the church in times like these. In this crisis, the people on board of the ship gave up hope, lost their nerve, were paralyzed by their own despair. But Paul took control of the crisis because he faced, he had faced crisis before. And he realized that God had not brought him this far to leave him now, to remind us in the midst of this present crisis, we may not have been through this kind of a crisis, but we've been through crisis before, and the Lord has always seen us through. We have the Lord's word. We have the Lord's work. We know what he has said, but we have also seen what he has done. We've got his message, but we also have miracles. He had what the Lord said, but also he also had seen what the Lord could do. So F Paul stands up in the midst of the storm and says, be of good cheer. The church has an amazing capacity to rise to her full stature and take control of the situation in a day of crisis. And in the midst of this pandemic and all we face, Never has the church had an opportunity to be a witness as she does right now. God intends for us to bring light to this present darkness, to bring hope to this present despair. God intends for us to bring peace in this time of confusion, to bring joy in the midst of all of this sadness. The church must stand at a time like this and be at its best when the world is at its worst. 
So here is the question. What does the world see in you at a time like this? Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity given to be your church in the midst of this crisis. Strengthen us now so that our faith can be windowed and put on display in the midst of this present storm. Help us to bring good cheer in the midst of trouble and tragedy. Help us to bring love and joy and peace in the midst of despair. For we pray and we ask it all in the wonderful name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. I want to remind you we're in a week of fasting and praying. We are fasting from midnight until noon. And then we have a special prayer call each evening this week at 6 p.m. Please join us on our prayer call and you have a great day in the Lord.